This upcoming Motzei Shabbat, the Halakha says that the person is supposed to do Havdala together with the Kiddush. Right? Havdala together with the Kiddush. Says the Halakha, what if a person wants to keep Rabbeinu Tam's Tefili as man? You know what? After Shabbat coming out, there's two times when Shabbat coming out. The Shkia is at 8.22. But the Shabbat coming out, there's different times that the Shabbat comes out. Let's say a person wants to be strict, like the Shabbat coming out at Rabbeinu Tam opinion, which is 9.51. It's very, very late. He wants to do Havdalah earlier than 9.51. But the problem is that the Havdalah he's supposed to do Boreh Moreh Aesh. And Moreh Aesh, you have to turn on the candle that we learned yesterday. You're going to turn on the candle, Motzei Shabbat, before Rabbeinu Tam time, you are Mechalet the Shabbat according to Rabbeinu Tam. What should we do? So says Rav Vadi Yosef that Havdalah and fire, it's not, depend, it's not linked. It's not dependent on one another. Let's say a person, every Motzei Shabbat, he doesn't have candle. Can he do Avdalah without a candle? Huh? Bisvech, could Moshe say Avdalah elinet? Says Allah, it's allowed. The candle is just an extra thing. It's not dependent on one another. The Borem Bria Gefen, Hamavdim Kodesh Le Kodesh, it's not dependent on the fire. If you have the fire, you say Bracha Morei Aish. If you don't have the fire, you don't say the Bracha. That's the Halacha. Says if so, right now a person, Motzei Shabbat, this upcoming, he has a fire. But the fire he has was lit for sake of to turn on from one candle to another candle. Yesterday we learned by Mincha that when a person is lighting the candle, this candle that you have to say, Bracha Borei Morei Aish, it has to be only for sake of giving out light. Uh, this candle that you put, a 48-hour candle, 72-hour candle, it was not turned on only to give light. It was turned on for other purposes also, to turn on a fire from fire to fire, alo ba'alo. So therefore, on this candle, you cannot say bracha moreish. You have to turn on a different candle. But if a different candle I'm going to turn on, before 9.51, I'm going to have a problem of Chilul Shabbat. If I keep Rabbi Nutam, what should I do? So says Ravadi Yosef, you're allowed to do the Havdalah on the wine, without the candle. But in the Sidur, Napis and it says, Borei Morei skip it. Skip that bracha, go to the next bracha. The next bracha is going to be, Amavdil Ben Kodesh Le Kodesh, that's the one you're supposed to do. You can skip Bore Bore Aesh. And when should I do Bore Bore Aesh? Whenever the time comes, 9.51 of Rabbeinu Tam, if you keep Rabbeinu Tam opinion, when that time comes, you take that candle, you turn on from this candle, and that candle, you say, Bracha Bore Bore Aesh. So it doesn't depend, Bore Aesh, with a cup of wine. You can separate the two. If you want to do everything with a cup of wine, you have to wait until 9.51. It's going to be too late. People want to eat the Suda of the Yom Tov, and then they're going to make sure to come back to the at a Tikkun, at 11.30 of here. It's going to be too late. So it says, therefore, Halakha allows a person to do the Havdalah before the Rabbeinu Tam time, without the fire. After, when the fire is finished, at the time of the fire, 9.51 p.m. came, you're going to turn on that candle separately, and you say bracha on this, like this, you did the kiddush earlier, you start eating, and during the meal, whenever the time will come, you're allowed to say the bracha,